New York City has the busiest and most complex subway system in North America. There are 728 miles of track, 468 stations, and over 6,000 subway cars, all operating 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. After decades of decline, subway ridership has seen a huge rebound over the last 20 years. Yet the subway system has barely expanded since World War II. Work has recently begun on two additions, the seven-line extension to Manhattan's far west side and phase one of the Second Avenue subway on the Upper East Side. But it takes many years and is very expensive to build new subway lines. So how do we serve a growing population with the existing system when it is already so crowded? One answer lies with a part of the system that is hidden from view but essential for the subway to operate. To keep trains running safely, the New York subway relies on a system known as fixed block signaling. Tracks are divided into segments or blocks of about a thousand feet. The status of these blocks is shown along the track using signals, similar to traffic lights, which let train drivers know when it's safe to proceed. Trains travel normally down the track on green, slowly on yellow, and must stop on red. If they don't, safety devices will trigger the train's brakes. As trains pass by, dispatchers and control centers can see whether individual blocks are occupied or free, and a block is considered occupied even if only a small portion of a train is in it. Since the system can't determine a train's precise position within the blocks, a buffer is added to ensure that trains don't run too close together. But a more modern technology, known as Communications-Based Train Control, or CBTC, makes it possible to shorten the space between trains without increasing risk. A train's location is determined using devices along the tracks and on board. This information is transmitted wirelessly to a centralized control facility, which coordinates all train movements throughout the system. Unlike today, the buffer that ensures safe spacing between trains is no longer fixed. Instead, CBTC establishes safe separation by creating a moving buffer, responsive to a train's speed and surroundings. What does CBTC mean for the millions of daily riders on New York City's subway? CBTC uses existing track space more efficiently, safely reducing the space between trains and making room for additional service. The system can adjust train speeds to prevent bunching and recover from delays, resulting in a smoother ride and conserving energy. Trains can operate in both directions on all tracks safely, creating greater flexibility to maneuver around work crews and respond to emergencies. Since the trains are all controlled centrally, service can be adjusted quickly along a single line or throughout the entire system. To respond to delays, accommodate crowds for special events, and make it easier to prepare the system for severe storms like Hurricane Sandy. In face of changing climate and more frequent storms, the subway system needs to withstand flooding and the effects of corrosive salt water. CBTC equipment is either waterproof or can be removed easily. Submerged in salt water during Sandy, CBTC equipment survived the storm and remains functional today, unlike the fixed block equipment some of which is still being replaced more than a year later. CBTC would provide subway riders with better real-time information, allowing for more countdown clocks and better customer applications. CBTC has the potential to save us hundreds of millions of dollars annually by reducing maintenance costs and through automation. Subway systems around the world are investing in CBTC technology the Paris Metro, which is even older than the New York subway, is converting its entire system to CBTC. Some of the oldest lines have been upgraded, and the rest will be done in the next 20 years. In addition to the L line, where the MTA started installing CBTC in 1999, work upgrading the 7 line is now underway and expected to be completed in 2017. While installation takes time, resulting in reduced service on nights and weekends, the MTA's rollout of CBTC has been slow, with only two lines converted in about 17 years. New York cannot afford to continue at this pace. CBTC lays the foundation for a modern subway system that will last for generations. To learn more, visit our website.